Hey, Trip Zero here, and uh, one of my goals in in growing uh, was to, to to be able to grow with the least amount of effort, and and in doing that, I wanted to have some sort of automatic feeding uh, system where I can feed my plants automatically. And the way I came up with was to feed it um, hydroponically, I guess, or feed it through through water. Uh, attach like a nutrient reservoir up to the irrigation system and then have it feed there, but um, I also am using the mid liter system which which uh, um, puts nutrients in uh, In in solid form and then you water it in and then it becomes water soluble. So anyway, I wanted to see if uh, uh, part of the nutrient pack you can get is this uh, micro mix which has uh, a lot of the micronutrients that that you need and So I'm gonna see how water soluble this is. I'm gonna blend it. So will it blend? You've probably seen those videos I'll uh, I'll do that. So what I've got here. I've got the packet. I'll put a couple tablespoons in uh, I don't want to you know for this experiment. I don't want to use it all. I actually want to use this in my garden um, and then for comparison purposes, I have 2100 urea nitrogen nitrate stuff uh, And we'll blend that as well. So we'll do two blends and see see how well it dissolves. We'll we'll put it in there for about uh, 30 seconds or so maybe a minute, but um, We'll see how it blends. All right So I've got water here, and this is just tap water. I got from the sink at two cups for the two experiments we will pour it in and you can see there is like no sediment get a good clear picture of that and then we will let's get our magic mix I love one handed alright what do we got here we got Uh, roughly two tablespoons There we go, so let's tash it in You can already see it working away, okay, so put the lid on And pardon the loud noise That was about 30 seconds, according to watching the timer on the video. Nice and green. Alright, this is the magic green stuff. Put in this green container. And there is some like uh, stuff, but it's like kind of a sludgy stuff down in there. Kind of like a slimy stuff, okay. But it's not like rocks, anything like that. So I'll get that kind of like washed in. Let's just get it, shall we? Let's so let's see what we can catch in our little strainer thingy. If I can get it to. Oh, this, could, this might make a mess. We'll see. Let's yeah, throw this around a bit. Oops. So, there is some stuff at the bottom. But most of it, I mean... I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah. 
most of it appeared to go through and there's very little stuff on that very little of anything caught in the strainer so I will pause this real quick and I'll try and see what that stuff is at the bottom so I took the bottom off and uh, it appears to be just like this kind of fine rocky crunched up rock stuff that just got stuck there and it's pretty fine I'm pretty sure it'll go through the strainer so I added some of the water back into the thing uh, and I'll just uh, kind of pour it through there and you can see a lot of it just goes through so that's the that's the mid liter stuff uh, the mid liter magic mix let's uh, I'll clean out the blender and we'll do the nitrogen all right uh, cleaned it out let's pour in the water and then pour in the same amount of nitrogen nice and clear and we'll get about two teaspoons or tablespoons whatever this is of nitrogen so this is 21 so it has other stuff in it besides nitrogen uh, up to 79% uh, of other stuff so we'll see if that other stuff is water soluble or not lid all right here we go Delicious. All right. Let's get our strainer, which has also been cleaned, and pour it in. So there is this dark material, sandy material at the bottom. So I'll check that out as well. Not as much as as what was uh, in the milliliter mix. So it just feels like this kind of sandy, gritty stuff, and I don't know the chunks might not. Yeah, the chunks are kind of big; they won't fit through there. So. Um, Interesting experiment. Most of it does dissolve uh, in both cases. Um, there's, uh, I run it through a strainer and uh, should be fine to put through the number 57 holes in the PVC, uh, you know, the milliliter PVC system. So I think it is possible, at least with uh, the magic mix to hydroponically feed that to your plants all right hope that was useful uh f if uh, you thought it was useful please uh, like that and subscribe so i know to make more videos like this and uh as always uh cheers drip zero out